Trying to navigate traffic in the valley can be treacherous. It can be even more dangerous when you're on two wheels instead of four. Cronkite News reporter Bailey Moore shows us how some new street improvements could help separate traffic and make sharing the road with cyclists a little safer. I was riding on the sidewalk and as I was crossing over a, a, an opening where a parking lot enters into the road, a car pulled out to, to look to see if they could go left and didn't look at the sidewalk and ended up hitting me on my bike and totaling my bike. Roy Banwell is one of nearly 1,500 bicyclists involved in crashes with cars reported in Arizona in 2016. As the Phoenix metropolitan area continues to grow, so does the need for traffic accommodations, especially when it comes to sharing the road. So there's a large group of people that are known as interested but concerned. Um, it's about 60% of the adult population. They have this kind of nostalgia for bicycling or they want to learn to ride a bike. Among the many transformations, the city of Phoenix has incorporated its first protected bike path, outlined by flexible bullards, to separate vehicle and bicycle traffic. Visible signs, buffer zones, bike share programs and isolated paths have also been implemented. Not just to control the traffic, but to bring the community together just like the good old days. The friendships you build with other cyclists, fellow cyclists, are, they're fantastic. I mean, they're really, they're really powerful, really strong. You see people once a week and you're not seeing them at work, you're not seeing them at school, you're seeing them in a social opportunity and you know, the you know, social capital and, and establishing social bonds is really, really important to building a strong community. In Phoenix, Bailey Moore, Cronkite News.